Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Novdu316 back at it once again with yet another Mario Party Superstars video. And I want to start this video off by wishing you all a happy April Fool's Day, y'all. Yes, it is April 1st. And I've actually got a special video. I don't I don't know how many other people are actually gonna do this or if anyone's gonna do this. I kinda hope that nobody really does this, but I decided in this video that I am going to target one particular person for the entire game and my objective is to make sure that they get last place all right thing is though you can't really do much in that mini game and you can't really do much on the board most of the time especially at the start of the game so there really isn't much that we can do but the person that we are going to try to make get 4th place in this video is Wario. We do get a mushroom, so I guess that helps us when it comes to movement. but other than that, there ain't really much. Wario's gonna land on that event space right there, and he's going to make us all move back, which pisses me off. Um, Mario ends up getting a double dice. That's a literal CPU, by the way. The Wario and Daisy actually stay for the entire video, and that's super awesome. This video game is actually easy money. It's an easy 20 coins. Like, I don't see how these people struggle at all. Like, how do you struggle in this mini game? I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't see it. I really just don't see it. Like, at all. Alright, then Daisy is gonna land on the event space, and that's gonna make the freaking Flump dude come back again, and we're all gonna move back again. Mario lands on another item space this time, though. He's gonna get a triple dice. I hate this mini game. So, I thought I've been getting used to, like, the timing of when the Chain Chomp goes to, like, wake up and stuff. It stayed awake for much longer, and then it just decided to stay awake longer than usual. And it got me, and it got Wario out. Daisy peeped their head back up. And then Mario just gets screwed right here. So, comment down below, have you ever finished that mini game? Because I know I haven't, and I still haven't, and I don't think I ever will. Alright, lucky space, we go ahead. We get seven coins. Mario is gonna land on a lucky space as well. And it's gonna get a skeleton key. Alrighty, so this was my strategy. Alright. I'm going to take Wario's color every time. I'm just like, he's guaranteed to go out, right? If I keep taking the color yellow, eventually he's gonna be left with no options. However, however, what I did not realize is that he also has the color pink. Or purple. Pinkish purple. So he gets to stay. He gets to stay. I go for yellow again. And this time, it doesn't work out. That minigame is rigged. Wario will win no matter what. I'm calling it. That minigame is 100% rigged. Already Daisy over here trying to get that smash it on. Gets a double dice. They actually only spent like three seconds on that mini game, which is very interesting. I also want to know why they dropped the spinies on our heads at the start. Because I swear there's always that one person, whether it's me or just someone else, that goes out at the very start. And I'm just sitting here like, give everyone an equal chance. Like just let the spiny spawn in the middle. Please. Like for the love of Jesus, man. Like I just don't get it. I just really don't get it. Mario gets a hidden block and is gonna get like a few coins from it. Alright, this pissed me off. I literally did not let Wario hit Daisy. I did my part. I did the best that I could. But guess what? Guess what happened, y'all? Mario CPU, the dude literally just not doing anything now, is going to randomly get Daisy out with like a few seconds left. 
And I'm just like, are you kidding me, bro? Like, that shit pissed me off. Oh, so we had to do the Bowser facelift thing. I did a super terrible job, as you can see. I don't know why, but I struggle to, like, see, like, all the circles and stuff. I don't know how the fuck we got an 85 for that, but you know what? If the game wants to give me an 85 for such a terrible masterpiece... Why did I even call it a masterpiece if it's terrible? I don't know. I guess it's considered a masterpiece considering you got the, um, 85, but... Yeah, whatever. Alright, so, you might be wondering, you're like, oh, Wario just got a star. Man's in first. That's the complete opposite of what you want. Well, your boy's got a strategy. You see the coinage? You see that coin count? You see how we get 94 coins? My strategy is to go get a skeleton key and then go to Boo and steal his star. But one of what was really best about this moment was Mario being able to steal some of his coins and then actually be able to go over there and get the star. That was a, a big gamer moment for the CPU. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, that's good. Because if Mario didn't get it, Wario was going to get it. I wasn't near it. Daisy wasn't near it. We would have been screwed, y'all. Alright, now we got this minigame. I am the one, so I get to do the Bowser cosplay, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. If I'm being real with you. But, this one, I think I did pretty good for my first time. I kind of gave him a good bit of coins for at the end, but, you know, it is what it is. I still think that we did a good job. Oh yeah, and did I forget to mention that during our strategy, we also get to pass by this star, which will put us in first place, actually. Yeah, that was super convenient. Alright, Daisy, item space. Alright. Now she gets the barrel mini game to pick out her item. And... Thing is, I think this is the easiest one in my opinion, is the barrel mini game. Because I can easily tell like where the item that I want is at all times. And I feel like Daisy can too, considering she got a double, which to me was at least one of the best two options on there. Um Now we've got Wario over here. He's gonna go ahead, get himself a triple dice. Mario. He's gonna go ahead, get himself a warp block. And now it's time for this mini game, y'all. World record speedrun time. Your boy gets the mushroom, Daisy and Wario, and Mario right after. That's exactly how you do it. That's exactly how you play that mini game. I don't think we could have done any better, actually. I genuinely don't think we could have done any better. This is also funny because Wario's technically inferred. Well, he is inferred at this time, before I stole the star, at least. So, logically, you'd think, oh, steal from Mario, steal from the CPU. Not in this video. And that's exactly why Wario has gone from third to fourth. Daisy is going to make it to a star. Wario is pissed. Man literally over here spamming, but why? In reference to me taking his star and not Mario's. I think it's hilarious. I, I really do. You know? At this point, I'm just thinking to myself, he's in last, I'm in first. I could win the game and get the challenge done. And... I'm just super happy right now. The star moves over there, which... That's an alright spot, I think. I don't really remember. Something for some reason tells me that that star actually stays there for a while, though. I can't remember. And that's kind of sad, because I literally just finished this match of Mario Party, like, less than an hour ago of this recording. I think I've played the same clip twice now, so I'm just gonna skip. Alright, Wario's gonna be able to make it to this star. 
So that is going to put him back on the board again. And now I'm just like, man, is still in fort. You know what? This is going good. Mario with another hidden block. They really loved the CPU. Not really too crazy much, though, because both times they gave him coins. But I want to know what to do for this minigame. I'm over here mashing A because it's just like, I'll ground pound faster if I mash A, right? That's how I'm going to give water to the, the, to the PD Piranha in order to get him to chase after Wario. So, why not just literally focus on mashing? I legit don't look at the screen at all. And I just hear finish and I'm like, well, fuck. Alright, Wario is going to go ahead and land on a lucky space and is going to get a custom dice block. He could definitely use that for good if he wants. I also want to know this too. The CPU has 50 coins. Why not just steal a star? Why go for my coins, man? Why go for my coins? Like, I would have rather you steal my star. Like, when it comes to this video... I would rather of the freaking CPU to steal my star. Because I don't care. Just as long as I'm not in last, if I get third place and Wario gets fourth, the challenge is in my favor and I win. But if Mario's over here gonna steal my coins and make it to where I can't afford to steal a um, star from Wario, that's exactly what kind of screws us over. This minigame... This is a pretty good minigame, and I'm actually shocked that I was able to win this minigame, because the last time I played it, I got my butt kicked, A, B, I thought that if you were like, if you dived under the water, I thought that the lights, like even if they were on top of you, that it wouldn't do anything, and that's why I lost the first time around, but now that we knew that that happens, I think that's part of the reason why we were able to win. Alright, Wario, if you didn't see, rolled a 10 with this custom dice. And I'm just sitting here like, who's a stupid boy? This man is stupid, right? Because, think about it. You could have rolled a 1, landed on the versus space, and you could have profited in coins from just landing on the space, or you could have just won the minigame and got coins, you know? But I guess he doesn't want to starve. And that's completely fine with me. The result of that minigame, not completely fine with, but... You know? The fact that Wario's in dead last, going into the final five turns. I like that. And I like it a lot. He gets a hidden block card. I, unfortunately, was not able to reach Boo with 50 or more coins. I was literally just, like, four short. As you can see. But you know what? I could still steal from Wario, period. So, although it's just coins, you know what? A steal is a steal, no matter how small. I land on a minigame space. Wario again, he's in last place when I stole those coins. He's spamming but why again. And I can understand it. I can completely understand where this person is coming from because, oh my god, we, we like, we just screwed them over, dude. We, we literally just screwed them over. Alright, Pokey Pummel, your boy plays Smash Bros too much to lose at any point of this minigame. I say that as if I got a good time, which I don't think I even got that good of a time. I see people doing that in like five seconds, so... There's a lot of work to do on my mash, y'all. I can mash way faster. And I need to mash way faster. If I want to get out of freaking crazy inkling roller combos and shit. Or just anything, you know? Just anything in general that involves mashing, you know? Alright, Wario's gonna be able to make it this star. And suddenly, man is not in dead last anymore, and I'm just like, shit. And wanna hear why he was able to get that star? Because stupid fucking Daisy 
fat player decides, I'm just gonna go ahead and land on this event space. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Also, that's probably the, that's actually the best fight I've ever done on this minigame. And it wasn't even enough. Apparently, Wario knows how to turn around on a snowboard better than I do. But speaking of Wario, Wario is going to go ahead and land on a Bowser space, and I'm just praying to myself, I'm like, lose one star, lose one star. But the game's going to fucking taunt me and give him the thing that's right above lose a star. I'm like, really, Nintendo? Really? You're going to get my hopes up like that? That's not fair, man. You can't be doing that. You just can't. Alright, next we got this hockey game. This hockey game is just complete chaos and it's completely stupid. I'm being completely honest with you. This mini game, I don't like it. Alright, I don't like it. Can we play regular hockey, please? Like, why this stupid icy puck shit, bruh? Why? Now, the good news is, though, we did at least get a point, so that's good. Alrighty. We ended up landing on an item space, and I'm like, you know what? I could definitely get an item that's like a double dice or a triple dice. Just as long as I don't get this stupid fucking minigame again. Because we're just gonna get a mushroom every time. Like, no matter what timing I try to do, I swear to god, my arrow is literally on a path to mushrooms. It is on a path to getting high. And making me feel low. As now, there's less of a chance... Of us actually getting to Boo again to steal another star from Wario. And plus Mario got the star using a golden pipe right there. So that pissed me off because I could have possibly gone in there and gotten two stars. So it's like, not only am I stealing from Wario, but I'm also putting myself up there in first place. Nope, didn't happen. Didn't happen at all, y'all. It's unfortunate. It's super unfortunate. Wonder what else is unfortunate? Wario's archery skills. Man, I can't shoot for shit, bro. He needs some pointers. He really do. He really do need some pointers. I love how the freaking, like, um, arrow hits me, though, but since it's already past the time, it just bounces off. I thought that was great. What I thought wasn't great, though, is the fact that this is, like, the one thing that couldn't happen. And it happened. Because now, no matter what happens, I can't get to boo. I don't have a skeleton key, so I can't even go through that boo. So we out here just fucking screw. Literally screw. We ain't got shit that we can do now at this point. And I'm just praying to myself. I'm like, Daisy, somehow find yourself a star. Like, even if it's in the bonus stars, like, if Daisy gets one and then either me or Mario get the other, or Daisy gets both of them, that means Wario gets last. And I'm all for it, bro. I am all for it. But what I'm not all for is Wario not getting last. And things are getting pretty stressful, if you do ask me. Wario is going to steal coins from me, which makes a lot of sense. Or no, Mario did, actually. And Wario got that shit ton of coins from the bank. I hate this minigame. I played it for the first time. I don't like it. I don't like it. Either that or it, it was just that fucking terrible because of the CPU. Like, do the CPUs make these types of mini games harder? Because if they do, then Nintendo is literally just putting me at a disadvantage. It's Mario Party. You know, though, this game actually doesn't require any skill at all. And you're gonna see at the end of this video that this video game does not require skill at all. Um... So I land on a lucky space, get some coins. Daisy's also gonna land on a lucky space and get some coins. I think actually more coins than what I got. Um, then after that we've got um, this mini game, the the river raft or whatever the fuck mini game. All right, basically it's a one v three, and I'm just sitting here like, you know what? We gotta try our best to collect some coins to get our totals up against them in case it comes down to the coins. And I've got to say, this was close. This was actually close. We started making a comeback a little bit at the end. Mainly because of the fact that I was able to somehow clutch out that um, coin bag. Um, but things 
didn't go the right way. Wario got that bonus star. Uh, Mario actually got the previous one. So not only did Wario not get last, but I lost to Wario too. And I'm just thinking to myself, if he gets first place, then what was even the point of trying? Thank God he didn't get first. Mario ended up getting first place, so good for him. That's going to be it for this video. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, please hit that subscribe button. It would really mean the world to me. Be sure to go follow me on Instagram. And last but not least, be sure to go send me money on Cash App. That would really mean a lot since I currently do not get paid for my videos. And yeah, with all that being said, I hope to catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.